How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports Talk. I'm going to you on a Tuesday, February 13th. As we get this video to you, I'm drawing this. I hope you guys are doing well. Have your free play selection in just a second today. I uh, got a long video for you. Exciting video. A lot of thoughts here for you. Uh, before I forget, uh, if you appreciate these videos, never really asked you guys to do this, but um, if you appreciate these videos, been doing them for a long time. The algorithms of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I obviously have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. Enjoy doing this every day for you. And we're on a 4 0 run as well when it comes to free plays. Um, I think we won yesterday once again on Texas Tech, right? On Monday. And then on Sunday, uh, we won with uh, uh, Minnesota. On Saturday, there was no video. Friday with Sacramento, a winner. Thursday was Washington uh, as the in college basketball, which was a winner too. So excited to get you this nice 4 0 8 and yeah, 4 0 run here. But if you appreciate this vid these videos and. Um, do me a favor, write into service at docsports.com. And uh, if you appreciate the hard work and if you appreciate the content and exactly what you like uh, with the videos, I'd appreciate it. Um, I, I'd enjoy to read what you enjoy about the videos. If you enjoy the videos, you enjoy the content, never really ask for this. If you think I'm doing a good job on these videos, write in to service at docsports.com. I'll put the email there and um, it'll help me uh, feel good about doing these videos and working hard every day. I'm telling you, man. Giving you 10 free plays a day or trying to is difficult. It's hard to do. And uh, so it'll motivate me and it'll, uh, it'll be a nice little pen pal thing for you to write in. And I'll be sure to, uh, obviously, Docs has a wonderful customer service team and uh, they might forward some of that to me. And I'll be, uh, be exciting for me to read it. So I appreciate that if you can do that. Service at DocSports.com if you enjoy the content, the videos, and uh, it'll help motivate me um, to read those comments, to give you those, try to give you these 10 free picks every day. All right. Um, yeah, our best selections over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections, uh, not really the next best selections, but we do do a YouTube premium teaching channel. And um, that happens every Wednesday and Thursday night at 930 Eastern. Uh, it is our teaching channel where we teach you how to fish and how to look at ball games in debt. It is uh, Thursdays, Wednesday and Thursdays at 930 I'll go through about 10 ball games, sort of like what we do now, but you choose the games and I teach you about the way I do my algorithms, how to look at ball games in depth. Uh, it's really good value and it's a great community as well. Uh, if you want even more content, hop onto our Twitter, it has our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games and our hot takes. We have a five unit college basketball selection today at seven o'clock. We have a five unit NBA selection at 1040. Um, looking forward to both. We have one nine of 11 March Madnesses, NBA, great three in our run for plus 1500. I gave you the Bulls as a four-unit selection yesterday. They won outright. Um, on Sunday, I gave you the Nets, or I'm sorry, the Heat plus the six, and they won as well. On Saturday, I gave you the Pacers, so back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back winners in the NBA. Hopefully, we can win this NBA selection, too, and make it four in a row. And if we win four in a row, maybe we can do five in a row. We've hit as many as uh, 12 in the NBA and as many as 17 in college basketball, so we'll see. Looking forward to the college basketball selection as well. Small winning season in college basketball so far, but hopefully that'll continue. Three selections in hockey tonight at 7 o'clock. We're coming off a nice four-unit winner in the NHL yesterday. Soccer, great 3-0 run there as well. We have a three-unit selection on deck right now. 5-0 uh, and o in tournaments in golf, which is a daily package. Um, there is a golf promo code if you, are, um, if you want it. The golf promo code is as follows. It is, let me see here. It is... It is IC20 Golf. It'll give you 20% off golf through April. Oh, yeah, it'll give you 20% off golf, the daily package. IC20 Golf, if you want to use that promo code as well. And we'll have a seven-unit selection this weekend in golf, and usually on on most weekends in golf. We are on a 5-0 run. We have a winning season in golf as well. So let it be a winning season in golf. Let it be a winning season in um, soccer or MMA uh, or college basketball. All right, let's get to your free play selection today. I like uh, Orlando in the NBA, as I think Orlando can beat Oklahoma City outright. So I'm going to take Orlando plus the two and a half, though you can find plus three in some places. So the thing here is it's so hard to go against Oklahoma City, and I get that. Oklahoma City beat this team by 12 points last time under a month ago. Oklahoma City has had lost back-to-back -back games coming in. They routed the Kings at home after the Kings have beaten the Nuggets. Oklahoma City has added Hayward. Orlando recently beat Minnesota on the road. I think Orlando gets some revenge here in Oklahoma City. Can have a letdown after that huge Kings win. Um, and, and that huge Kings win was impressive. But remember, the Kings had just gotten, had throttled Denver at home by like 20 plus. So they were in a little bit of a letdown. So it's not that impressive of a win beating, beating the Kings at home, given the fact that Kings had just come off routing uh, Denver. 
right? So I think Orlando, given the fact they have revenge um, and Oklahoma City coming off a big win, it sets up nicely here to take the Orlando Magic plus the three, plus the two and a half. Um, I'll grade it at plus two and a half to win outright here. Uh, UCF BYU. I like BYU here. I think BYU indirectly trolls Texas Tech. 13 and 9, 17 and 16 hooking up here. People love the 17 and 16. Of course, UCF lost to Texas Tech on the road. This is a huge line to be honest. But UCF barely lost to Texas Tech on the road. BYU beat them by five points a month ago, and UCF has revenge. And uh, this is a big line. UCF had 33 free throws to BYU 17 in that game, and uh, UCF and uh, BYU still won that game. So imagine that evens out here. You could easily see this as a 15 to 20 point win. And um, so I think that's the reason why this line is so big. And I like BYU because they won't be getting the calls that they did down in UCF. Oklahoma, and plus they'd want to beat them by a wider margin than what just happened to Texas Tech. And to prove something to Texas Tech, hey, you only beat this team by six to eight points, even though we lost to you. We just now beat you by 15. We just beat the same team by 15 to 20 points. Oklahoma Baylor. I like Oklahoma here. 18 and six and 17 and six team hooking up here. Number 25 team in the land on the road against the number 12 team in the land. Baylor swept this team last year. I do not like Baylor coming off a loss, but I got to tell you, Oklahoma got swept last year. They lost their road game against UCF, which is going to motivate them, and they did beat Cincinnati. I can see Oklahoma hanging tough here on the road, and I can see Coach Porter Moser, who has not had uh, much success here, uh, Porter Moses, uh, against Baylor having some success finally today. He'll be motivated. Pittsburgh, Virginia. I like Pittsburgh, even though Virginia has revenge. 15 and 8, 19 and 5 teams hooking up here. Number 21 team in the land, Virginia. Uh, is now Virginia. But Pitt is good. Pitt did beat this team by three last year, so I know Virginia's got plenty of revenge. That's why it's further down on my list. But Pitt, you know, is one of the few teams that can say they beat Duke on the road. Obviously, Jeff Cable played in Cameron, so he knows how to motivate them. But Virginia has won eight in a row, and I get that. But they're only a small favorite, kind of. Virginia, huge win against FSU on the road. But I thought they would come in here as a bigger favorite, to be honest with you. Virginia's a great team, but I like the points. Pittsburgh is a top 40 turnover team. UNC Syracuse, I like Syracuse here with the huge revenge. 19-5, and 14-9 team hooking up here. You have the number seven team in the land on the road here. Numbers, UNC beat this team 103-67 to in January. Ugly, ugly loss. Syracuse is still a top 60 defensive team, one of the worst losses ever in Coach Adrian Autry's young coaching career. We can see this game going in favor of Syracuse here. I think Syracuse hangs tough. I don't want to go against UNC too much, but I think Syracuse hangs tough given that horrible rocking they got they took at UNC. Michigan, Illinois. I like the over there. Eight and 16 team on the road against the number 14 team in land. Very simple here. I think Michigan is an active dog given the revenge they have against Illinois. Right, Illinois lost to Michigan State by eight on the road. They beat Nebraska at home. Um, it is very difficult to get up for a team that you've already beaten by 15, like Illinois has. But I think Michigan is an active dog. And I think Illinois comes in here a bit frustrated from their previous loss. And I think they put up a good bit of points on their own, like the over. Minnesota and Portland in the NBA. Give me the Blazers. Minnesota just beat this team by 23 points. Blazers have immediate revenge. The Blazers can indeed be an active dog here. Uh, Minnesota is back home after beating the Clippers by 21. And I think they have a huge letdown here facing lowly Portland. They also beat the Bucks by 25. So imagine beating the Bucks and the Clippers and now playing the Blazers. It's harder to get up, especially for a team that you've already beaten by, uh, that you've already pummeled by 23 this year. Also, I like the fact that the Blazers um, come off back-to-back missed covers, and they haven't missed three straight covers in a while. Give me the Blazers. Boston Nets, Celtics Nets, I like the over. Boston won by 14 points back in November. Um, they have to you know, I would assume the Nets have, we're we'll looking forward to this, they are being down 10 games under 500. Boston might have Porzingis back, uh, might not have Porzingis for this game. Or there's 25 points that he had last game. So I think they can be an active dog, actually. The Nets can, and I think Boston will show up without Porzingis. The Nets won by 20 points last time uh, over the Spurs. So they did get their offense back in rhythm somewhat. I like them to be an active dog, and I like this game to go over. As far as Milwaukee and Miami, I like the over there too. There are way too many guys out for Miami. Robinson, Butler, Rozier might be out too. Bucks already beat this team easily last time. I think Miami can be an active dog and send this game over the post total. Finally, King Suns. Guess what? I like the over there too. Uh, Suns beat this. And I also like the Kings a little bit too, but I don't want to go against Suns as they come off a loss. Suns beat this team by two points early this year. Sacramento off that 14-point loss to Oklahoma City. I think that'll motivate them to play, be as a decent dog. And um, obviously this team beat Denver by 29 not too long ago. Phoenix is off that, embar- not embarrassing, but really difficult one-point loss to Golden State as KD could not get the ball over uh, Draymond Green, which is going to upset him. So you're going to have a ticked-off Suns team, ticked-off Kings team. I like this game to go over the posted total today. That's what I have for you guys. Hopefully that's our fifth straight free pick winner. I know it's a longer video, but I'm doing longer videos now. And I hope you enjoy the content. And if you get a moment, if you enjoy the stuff, 
uh, write in to service at DocSports.com and tell us if you enjoyed the, the video content as well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Five unit NBA selection today, five unit college basketball today, uh, selection today. Hope you join us for the, uh, ho- hopefully it'll be our fourth straight NBA winner. Hopefully you'll join us for our soccer, our NHL, all that good jazz. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the YouTube videos, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day.